So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a LR Boros that Zam sent to us. And I picked LR Boros because he sent me all of his custom cards. Uh, thank you, Zam. Um, <laughs> I already wrote down Zam's name, as well as, uh, of course, all the custom cards on the paper. Just literally in words, all custom cards by Crossed Out Boros. But... With that being said, uh, go ahead and send me your custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com. You guys already know the email is going to be above my head at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. Uh, Zam just sent an email, all my custom cards. There's no message, no nothing. You guys have been getting straight to the point. I, listen, I have no problem with that whatsoever. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, you guys said dev get straight to business. Okay, my bad. So uh, there's a LR Boros, a LR Saitama. There's a Easy A Bardock, a Shallot, a Giblet, a DKP, OP as hell. <laughs> Toa and Mira, OP as hell. LR Demigra, also OP as hell, okay. An Easy A Tien and Chaozu, a Easy A LR Black, a Easy A LR Jiren, Easy A LR Super 17, which... Uh, damn, I probably should look at that one because I'm probably most intrigued by the DKP and the Easy LR Super 17 because, uh, of course, um, I think he's talking about the tech one, obviously, the, I mean, the only fucking LR Super 17, but that guy needs an Easy A bad, bad, bad. Um, of course, we have a uh, God Goku, uh, a Dokkan Fest Android 17, um, a Side Banner Unit Android 18, Nintendo Crossover kirby villain units work in progress lr magolore op as hell i think i said that incorrectly i'm sorry mr baby in black and then there's a free-to-play shadow dragon squad i think that's like a full little shadow dragon squad thing so um those are all of his cards but we're going to be taking a look specifically at lr boris because you guys already know i only look at one card for each each day that I do a custom card review. I gotta do a unit review, I think tomorrow or Saturday. Excuse me, tomorrow or Saturday. Okay, LR Boros, I already pulled up his 200% lead to go before I started recording because I just picked the first unit that was at the top of the list, that being LR Boros. So what do we have here? Of course, Boros is from One Punch Man. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure he's from One Punch Man. Uh, is he the final villain? Bro, I have not watched One Punch Man since high school when when was when does he fight boros i think he fights boros at the end of season one of one punch man i think i think i'm pretty certain I, does he i think he does isn't he the final villain i could be wrong listen i haven't watched one punch man in years like literal years man i feel like old head anyways leader of dark matter <laughs> extreme tech Lord Boros, cool card art by the way. This would be fire if it was animated, by the way. So his uh, leader skill. Let me make sure it looks good on this side. Everything looks good. If I scroll down, perfect, perfect, perfect. So this is going to put all, all up on the screen, so you guys can just read ahead of, of me if you want. So his leader skill is crossover, time limit, accelerated battle, and worldwide chaos. Three key and one seventy percent across the board. So he is leading. Four one seventy percent across the board leader skills and his additional thirty percent of stats, aka for the two hundred percent leader skill for it to cross over onto, is to transformation boost, gifted warriors, full power, and space traveling warriors. Guys, four one seventy percent leader skills and four thirty percent to stats, additionally for the two hundred percent leader skill to add on to it um this is what the leader skills looking like i mean you do have a, cu a couple of great options obviously you have ui you have the gammas you have uh gogeta who else um am i skipping over uh you have the fifth year so you could do shenanigans with um i like this hit this guy might get a unit review he's gonna get a unit re review tomorrow i gotta remember I hope I remember. He's going to get a unit review. I mean, of course, you have this uh, boo, but he's going to get a unit review. Yeah, definitely. You have this boo. I, I was trying to say, uh, of course, talking about this guy. You have the boo. You have the go tanks. You have uh, who else? You have this Dragon Fist Goku. There are a couple of good options on this team. But a quadruple 30% additionally and a, one, a quadruple 170% leader skill 
with god just god damn i mean wow okay so boros's 12 key that being the warm-up barrage he gains 30 percent attack and defense one turn and does colossal damage to the enemy and his 18 key the uh, meteoric meteoric I, I probably said that wrong the meteoric burst he uh, greatly stacks attack and defense does uh, med colossal damage to enemy and sacrifices 4% HP. So he's greatly stacking attack and defense and sacking 4% HP on his 18 key super, which of course, greatly stacking attack and defense is ridiculously strong. And uh, his 12 key is getting 30% attack and defense for one turn. So he has good 12 and 18 key super attack effects. So uh, his passive, oh my bad, I meant to, I mean, this passive is giant. So we're just going to go ahead and just scroll down. I should have kept it the way it was where you guys were able to see everything, but whatever. We're just going to continue on as is. All right. So his passive, a villain nobody knows. Activates the interest animation when there is a superhero, earthling, or warriors raised on earth. I was going to say earth red fighter. So he activates his interest animation when it's a superhero, earthling, or earth red fighter category enemy. And he performs two guaranteed supers for five turns from first appearance. Okay, so he's just gonna do his first, he's gonna do his 18 key where he's really stacks attack and defense. He's gonna double super for free because he's facing a superhero, Earthlink, or uh, uh, Earthbred fighter. Um, and then you get lucky, he does his potential system. There might be more additional super attacks built into him. I'm just stating that because that's what I've seen so far. That's two guaranteed supers out of the gate is pretty nutty for the first five turns from first appearance. So he gets 250% attack and defense, and he performs an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come a super attack. <laughs> Make that five supers. Uh, he also gets key per keys are obtained, one key per keys are obtained in particular, and he gets one key per super attack performed, kind of like the Aethyrs, where they get key for each time they super. I'm pretty sure that's how the Aethyrs, they, don't they have that in their kit? I'm pretty certain they have that in their kit where they build up key. For each time they super or attack or whatever it is. So he gets key every time he does a super attack. Just forever. And he gets up to 8 key. No. It's not forever. I thought it was forever because there was a semicolon there. Yeah. So this is not forever. It goes up to 8 key. Yeah. I just got uh, thrown off by the semicolon. So he, uh, he gets 1 key with every super attack performed up to 8 key. And he gives extreme class allies 30% attack and defense. And additional 50% attack and defense with 3 super attacks performed. So he's giving an additional 50% attack and defense to extreme class allies when he does 3 super attacks. Uh, Zam, if you're watching this video, which you probably are. Uh, if he's giving... 80% attack and defense to extreme class allies after he does three supers, which is going to be very easy for him to get those three supers out, considering the fact that he's going to be doing two guarantee supers uh, within those first five turns, then that's pretty nutty. That greatly helps him being able to get this monstrous support for the extreme class allies. Now, granted, he's not giving key of what I have not seen yet, but pretty nutty nonetheless 80 percent attack and defense for free after he does three supers which he can get that he'll come back on turn three and he'll have that for free for all extreme class allies excuse me gain an additional 40 percent damage reduction with six super attacks performed okay so that should be also easy for him i mean you're gonna get that by what turn five you're gonna get that by turn five easily this i mean come on now uh, that's i'm liking the design already uh he also performs five additional normals okay he performs five additional attacks that each have a 50 percent chance to become a super attack with 10 attacks before <laughs> so by the end of the fight he's gonna be packing up the boss's hp <laughs> what he also uh okay it also says all additional super attacks become 18 key super attacks after 18 super attacks performed bruh Whew. okay so that so okay we're gonna break down what this card we're gonna talk about this card in just a second he recovers 10 percent hp at the end of uh, the turn in which an attack was received so to hell with this sacking 4% HP from his 18 key super attack effect because he's already going to recover that HP at the end of the turn. So we're taking a look at what this guy does. Number one, this guy is going to uh, give 
a ridiculous amount of support to extreme class allies that being up to 80 percent attack and defense correct me if i'm wrong uh zam if you're watching this but because it says additional so <laughs> extreme class allies 30 percent attack and defense and an additional 50 percent attack and defense with three super attacks perform if that's just for him that additional 50 percent attack and defense then excuse me hmm is it okay so nonetheless he's a support type unit he has two guarantee supers for the first five turns to help him be able oh i mean i also forgot to mention that he also has additional super attack chance for free so on the first turn this guy can do five supers he'll do his 18 key super this is turn one he'll do his 18 key super he'll do his two guarantee supers and if you get lucky, he, he does his additional attack as a 50% chance to come a super attack, and he does his hidden potential system. Five supers. He does five supers. Um, and, and you guys gotta keep in mind, the more he does supers, the stronger he's just gonna be getting. Because I mean, 40% damage reduction, he does six supers. Uh, he does five additional attacks that will have a 50% chance to come a super attack. So give or take by like turn five, he's gonna be able to get this okay <laughs> i uh, like what okay whatever uh, why do i feel like i've read this card before uh, whatever whatever okay so his active skill um he's just a, a offensive super attacking barrage machine i feel like i've read this card before i feel like i did i don't know why i don't know why okay whatever it was probably like a maybe it was a dupe card that was sent in I mean, but whatever. All right, so his active skill. Uh, the Collapsing Star Roaring Cannon. Collapsing Star Roaring Cannon. That is a fire name. It sounds like something out of Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> I love this Pokemon. Or Pokemon. Temporarily raises <laughs> attack by 643%. Causes ultimate damage to enemy, and within the turn activated, all attacks become guaranteed crits. Disable three enemy actions while sacrificing 10% HP once only. Guaranteed crits, disable three enemy actions. Sacrifices 10% HP, um, but he's going to get that HP back because, I mean, he has this because he's just going to take the hit. Prior to him attacking, by the way. So, it could be activated when he does 10 or more super attacks or when HP is 40% or below. So, let me tell you this. Um, him doing 10 attacks, like, well, why do I feel like, no, the boss is probably going to be dead by the time you get this active skill. <laughs> and you got to keep in mind, bro, he's greatly stacking. And I, I forgot to mention, this is like ridiculously strong because you get those six supers off. He's going to have 40% damage reduction. Like, okay, let's say you get past the turn where he uh, his interest animation buff wears off, right? He's not doing two guarantee supers. Well, guess what? You get to the turn where he's already gotten 10 supers off. Then he's already doing five additional attacks. So he'll have a 50% chance to come a super attack. He's killing the boss. He's killing the boss. Now, as for this 18 supers, like he, he does 18 supers, all additional super attacks become... Tiki super attacks. <laughs> so that means his super attacks will turn into him just greatly stacking on every super, bro. Okay. Okay. These are stats for my stat junkies. Uh, um, go right ahead. And uh, his link set is Burial Beatdown. It's probably meant Brutal Beatdown. What the hell is Burial Beatdown? Okay, so Brutal Beatdown. Gentlemen, Cold Judgment, BBB, Universe's Most Malevolent, Thirst for Conquest uh legendary power his links his categories full power transformation boost terrifying conquerors final trump card crossover space driving warriors gifted warriors time limit accelerated battle worldwide chaos battle of face so this guy's pretty much a super attacking juggernaut he's just an offensive machine pretty much um yeah that's all there has to be said about this guy has an active skill that's literally going to kill anything in the game pretty much because he's greatly stacking and once you get to the end of the fight, nothing is living this active skill. Nothing. The fact that he has this. Hold on. Let me go over to it. He's key. Okay. So. So he has two guaranteed super self to help him build up his passive. 
He is a support type unit. He has already additional super attack chance for free. He's keeper keys for obtained. He builds up key easily by doing supers. Uh, he also gets stronger as he's doing more supers because he's getting damage reduction. He's getting five additional attacks to have a 50% chance from a super attack. And then past that, he has all additional super attacks turned to 18 key supers when he does 18 super attacks. So as the fight progresses, the stronger he gets. Nothing is living this guy. That's going to be a common term on this custom card review segment. Nothing is living this guy. Nothing is living this guy. You know what I would like to see, by the way? Uh, that's going to be about it by the, from you guys. Uh, I already wrote down uh, Zam on the um, notepad, but you guys know what I like to see? I would like to see a crazy support type unit. Like a, if you guys want like a little, you know, a little request from me. I want to see a support type unit that is like crazy strong but has to be realistically strong has to be realistic but not not over the top like give all allies nine 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 attack and defense a creative strong support type unit that's my challenge for you get to it but yeah i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best if you guys want to go and send me a custom cards over to bh <laughs> Send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com where I go ahead and get to your card in the near future because I'm going to go ahead and get all these old cards out the way. Um, of course, I write down your card and blah, blah, blah. Join the 24-7 Discord server. Follow me on Twitch. You guys already know the same gist. Uh, I'm going to say it again. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. You guys are the greatest. 2v8 on Dead by Daylight, by the way. Stream. Hmm. <laughs> Peace.